Hello folks and welcome to my 53rd narrated Wi-Fi battle. This is a friend battle against Asukatsu, my friend from Germany, um, as you might have been able to tell from the names of her Pokemon. Uh, anyway, uh, this is an OU doubles match uh, using my Trick Room team, so after some deliberation I decide that I'm going to lead off with Yorick and Pazuzu, that would be my Dusk Noir and my Zapdos. Um, so here we go. Um, it's uh, Waterfall Coliseum, and this uh, should be a good match at this point, I'm hoping. Anyway, she leads off with the infamous Skarmbliss combo um, that I guess took the world by storm back in uh, 2009. Um, and she decides to pull back um, Skarmory, predicting either a fire type or a, an electric type attack, and sends in um, Despotar, which is Tyranitar in German. Um, and uh, that's going to whip up a standstorm that I am not going to like. Uh, anyway, Thunderbolt hits um, and does not do as much damage as I would have hoped, uh, thanks to the doubling of the, of the special defense, thanks to Sandstorm. And then I get toxic um, by Blissey. Um, so I do manage to set up the Trick Room, so it's not all, you know, it's not all bad. Um, and I'm actually feeling pretty good at this point. Um, so uh, there's some leftover recovery action on the Pokemon you'd expect, uh, and I go ahead and do a double switch, um, pulling back Yorick uh, and Pazuzu for um, Metagross and Uxie. Um, I chose the positions very uh, you know, carefully, basically thinking, uh, trying to predict what they were going to predict. I, I was or sorry, predicting what she was going to attack, uh, and uh, it pays off somewhat for me. Um, Ice Beam does very, very little to um, Patrick, that would be my uh, Uxie, and Crunch uh, does um, not a great amount to um, Uchikoma, my Metagross. So, so far this is going pretty good, uh, pretty well. Uh, Patrick goes ahead and uses Heal Bell to get rid of that um, Toxic. Don't know if that was really the best thing I could have done here, but it is what it is. So I go ahead and use Hammer Arm against uh, Tyranitar, um, which... Uh, I really wish, in retrospect, that I'd use it against um, uh, uh, against uh, Blissey back before she knew that I was carrying it. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, and this is why I don't use Chopley Berry, by the way, because um, reducing a 4x weakness to a 2x weakness isn't necessarily um, worth your time unless you're investing heavily in your defenses. Um, Instead, I usually, if I'm running Tyranitar, I'm probably going to run um, the Babiri Berry um, uh, to deal with um, Caesar's Bullet Punch. Anyway, uh, she sends out um, uh, Garchomp, uh, who I'm fearing, um, but it is what it is. Um, I'm now turning my attention to Blissey to try to take it out, um, and I'm going to go ahead and attack with both of my Pokemon against her. Um, not that I think u turns going to do much damage, but it will do something, and something's better than nothing. So anyway, she predicts the move and calls Blissey back, um, sending out um, uh, Bronzong in its place. Um, and Bronzong is a, you know, even bulkier than any of my Pokemon, and is going to take those hits like they were nothing. Um, Bronz, uh, if there were ever tears um, for doubles, I guarantee you... Uh, Bronzong is um, the highest tier that's not Uber. Um, I mean, I don't think it deserves an Uber classification because it is it is possible to kill, but it is a very effective Pokemon in two v two combat. Um, so Hammer Arm doesn't do anything. I've switched in um, t uh, Tianchi, my Dragonite, uh, as uh, you know, f for uh, Uxie, um, and that's just so I can use Earthquake if I want to. Um, Anyway, here comes a Fire Fang, which doesn't do very much thanks to my Akaberry. Akaberry, I think, is a good choice. Um, although Metagross's defenses, at least this build of Metagross, the defenses are high enough that, um, you know, I don't think it's saving me from any KOs, so I might want to switch that for something else. Anyway, so um, since uh, Tianchi is in the air, I can feel safe to do um, Earthquake. Meanwhile, I'm going to try to take out that Garchomp with Draco Meteor. Um, of course, uh, she predicts it, pulls back Garchomp, uh, and sends out a Pokemon uh, who's not going to care, specifically Skarmory. Um, yeah, so here comes the Earthquake, um, which uh, does hit Bronzong. Um, not doesn't deliver the KO, unfortunately, but does a lot of damage. Um, 
uh, and then I get uh, put to sleep with, uh, with hypnosis, so not great for me. Um, Tianchi goes ahead and uses Draco Meteor, um, but against uh, Skarmory, it's not going to do very much at all, um, which is a really big shame. Uh, and now I'm minus two special attack, which really only affects Draco Meteor, but it's still not ideal. Um, there's a little recovery action, and now my Trick Room's over with neither, with both of my Pokémon pretty slow, and neither of them able to bring the Trick Room back. So I go ahead and switch uh, into Samba and Uxie, um, which is my other lead combo. Um, I figure here that uh, I can get in a Heal Bell and wake up my Pokémon. Anyway, Skarmory goes ahead and uses Spikes, so I'm like, Psh, Spikes? What the heck? Uh, and it gets even stranger because uh, Bronzong uses Stealth Rock, and I'm thinking, what the heck? No one uses uh, entry hazards in doubles because switching is near is nearly as common. Um, but you know, whatever. Uh, Skarmory goes ahead and roosts off the damage from that Draco Meteor, um, uh, and Samba goes ahead and uses Hydro Pump, which finishes off Bronzong. So that's good. Bronzong is dead, and I don't have to worry about it exploding or what have you. Yeah, I was very grateful that Bronzong didn't explode. I would have had flashes of X RKH X Takeru's battle um, from so long ago, uh, which is the only other friend battle I think I've ever had with this team. Um, but anyway, Blissey comes back out, uh, you know, safe knowing that neither of my Pokemon knows a um, physical fighting move so there's not much I can do. Samba goes ahead and uses Hydro Pump, which misses, um, and uh, Blissey's going to go ahead and use a Seismic Toss against Uxie. Seismic Toss is such a ridiculous move. The animation is hilarious. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, it's not doing too much. Uh, this Drill Peck is absolutely hilarious. Um, I guess, I mean, it does more than some of the other attacks that have, uh, like that Ice Beam that uh, hit it earlier, but it's still not doing anything, um, and Patrick has taken it. Um, you know, if, if Patrick had uh, Leftovers, um, it would have so much better survivability, but I really do like the fact that it has Lumberry. I mean, if I'm not going to use a Natural Cure Pokemon as my Cleric, um, I really do need some way of getting status conditions off of it. Um, so anyway, uh, it gets uh, Uchikoma, um, switches out, and thanks to Aurora, I believe, um, no, it wasn't Aurora, I'm sorry, uh, that's coming later, um, uh, but it, it gets hit by both entry hazards, um, so I'm not particularly happy about that, so I put in a, I, um, do a skill swap, so that the next time, um, Metagross switches in, um, it won't get hit by spikes, since it'll be up in the air. Um, anyway, Uxie is taken out, um, and uh, this battle is not going particularly well for me, especially since Skarmory just laid down a second set of spikes. Um, yeah, really big on the entry hazards, and at this point, um, I really didn't see why. Anyway, I sent out Yorick for a very important reason. Um, yeah, it's going to get hit by a lot of damage, and that's that I need Metagross to have a bit more HP than it has, and it has no rec recovery moves on its own. But Pain Split is a really interesting move to have on a 2v2 team because um, and on the one hand it can be used defensively to lower your opponent's HP, on the other hand it can be used um, against your, you can be used with your own Pokemon to restore its HP if it's really low. Well. Um, so anyway, Garchomp comes back out um, and York goes ahead and Pain Splits to recover um, Metagross's uh, d uh, HP and now I think it can survive um, it can survive uh, Stealth Rock. Uh, you know, not Spikes, obviously, but it can survive Stealth Rock, I figured. Um, Hammer Arm does, uh, you know, maybe a third to um, uh, Garchomp. And anyway, here comes the Roar, uh, which is the reason for all the, um, all the entry hazards, after all. And Metagross is pulled back. Um, and so I'm forced to send out uh, Dragonite. Um, actually, Dragonite was dragged out, as it says. Uh, and so I get Stealth Rock damage, but not Spikes damage, which is nice. Um, so now I'm going to use Pain Split offensively um, while I go ahead and try to kill that um, Garchomp. Um, Drag uh, Tianchi uses Rock Slide instead of Draco Meteor. I don't know why I did that. I guess um, Garchomp wasn't at full HP. Um, but Garchomp goes ahead and uses Dragon Claw, uh, which is super effective and takes out uh, Tianchi. So, bad move on my part. I really should have just gone for the Draco Meteor. Um, but it is what it is. Um, Skarmory does Roar, which forces uh, Yorick to switch out. Um, 
and is going to pull someone else in against their will. Um, and that Pokemon is uh, Zapdos, which again, you know, I was, I've actually been pretty lucky with these Roars. These are people who are just taking Stealth Rock damage. Um, and in fact, this was great because the Trick Room just went down. So um, I will get one turn where I'm the fastest guy on the field. At least I think um, Zapdos is the fastest guy on the field. Um, had I left in the... Well, actually, you know, they're both not gonna... Never mind. Anyway, uh, I was going to attack with Yorick, or set up a Trick Room or something, um, but instead I get hit by a critical Dragon Claw, uh, and that crit kills me. I'm pretty sure the crit was needed, but maybe not. And, you know, I'm not gonna be one to be, uh, too up in arms about that. I get a crit against, um against Garchomp here, but it didn't really help much. Uh, but it does manage to take out um, Skarmory, which is nice. And so out comes Lucario, who is, al who is also not going to like a heat wave, so I'm hoping I'll be able to do that. And I send in Uchikoma, thinking that it's only going to take damage from the Stealth Rock. But here it takes damage from the Spikes, I'm like, oh, that's a big glitch! What the heck? I find out later, um, the effects of Skill Swap don't carry over if the Pokémon is pulled back. Which is a huge limitation that I never realized before, but I'm glad I figured this out here and now, rather than finding out with my um, Jane team, whose primary strategies revolve around skill swap. That's a huge limitation, and I really am upset about that. Um, but it is what it is. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and use Blizzard on uh, my uh, what should I call it? Uh, Empoleon. Uh, to try to take down that um, that Pokemon. Anyway, um, this is the first time I think Chopley Berry has activated on um, Samba, and uh, it does save her from being KO'd, which is um, just validation that I should keep that berry on her. Um, <clears throat> and now um, I'm hoping that thanks to the thanks to the, the defense drops, I should be able to take out um, Lucario. And indeed, I do, except for the Focus Sash, so now I'm just hoping that Blizzard actually hits. Now I see this and I think, ah, I missed, but instead, um, it did hit, but it activated um, Chopley Berry, um, or sorry, Yachi Berry. So I get the double KO, um, both of uh, her Pokemon are down, and I think I have three Pokemon left at this point. No, I have two Pokemon left, these are my last two Pokemon. Um, and now she's down to her last Pokemon, so I'm pretty happy about this because the, um, until I realized the last Pokemon is Blissey. How am I gonna kill Blissey? Um, Aqua Jet, um, I figure, you know, I don't know how much longer um, Empoleon's gonna be out there, so I better get in a priority move. Uh, Pazuzu goes ahead and roosts up the damage. I figure I can stall Blissey out. Um, and so far it's looking pretty good. Um, here comes a Seismic Toss. Uh, which is not going to, well actually it's not going to be not effective, but whatever. I still think, you know, with the Sandstorm and with everything else that's going on, there's a good chance that Zapdos versus Blissey, I can stall her out. And so here comes a Thunderbolt. Maybe I'll get Parahax or something nice. Um, doesn't really do any damage at all. Uh, and then here comes a Toxic. And so this is when I realize, crap, I have just lost this match. Um, and, you know, I can attack all I like, I can roost off all the damage I like. Eventually, you know, a, maybe she's not carrying softball, I figure, but it's very unlikely. Um, you know, here comes an ice, uh, an ice beam, which is gonna hurt like, the, like heck. Um, so I just gotta roost off any damage I can, but there's no way I'm gonna win this. Um, well, that's not true, I have pressure, so maybe there's a small chance that, you know, I it will get into a struggle war, but it's, you know, um... Yeah, here I get a crit, so I was thinking, oh, maybe the crit will help me, and then it doesn't really do much. So, uh, you know, Ice Beam's going back and forth. Um, you know, Pazuzu is taking the hits, but, um, you know, Toxic is going to keep building damage, which I'm cutting out. You're not seeing how much damage uh, Toxic is dealing, but eventually I'm going to get killed. And in fact, that moment is right now. Um, Pazuzu dies, uh, and I've lost the match. I was so close. Azukatsu, I know you're watching this. Um, great battle. We should battle again at some point. Um, other people, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and I hope you've all enjoyed this. Um, so long.